Are there hidden secrets that experts in archaeology and history are forbidden to explore? Are there forbidden knowledge and suppressed information that remain concealed from the world? In the digital age, sensationalized clickbait articles, videos and conspiracy theories often claim that archaeologists and historians were forbidden to study these areas of subject. But what's the truth behind these allegations? And how do they come about? Let's take a closer look and delve into the five most common reasons behind such claims. The phrase, archaeologists and historians, were forbidden to study these, suggests the existence of hidden or suppressed knowledge that experts in archaeology and history are allegedly not allowed to investigate. However, it's crucial to approach such claims with a critical mindset, as they are often misleading or unfounded. Here are such statements. Number one. Misinterpretation or misrepresentation. Sometimes, claims of forbidden knowledge stem from a misinterpretation or deliberate misrepresentation of historical or archaeological findings. Conspiracies may be fabricated to create intrigue or mystery. Number two, pseudoscientific claims. Certain topics may be discredited by the scientific community because they lack empirical evidence or are based on pseudoscientific theories. Genuine scholars avoid studying these topics not because they are forbidden, but because they lack academic merit. Number three, ethical concerns. In some cases, access to certain archaeological sites or historical artifacts may be restricted due to ethical considerations. For instance, sites with human remains or sacred significance may be protected to preserve cultural respect and dignity. Number four, national security. Archaeological sites or historical artifacts in conflict zones or areas with geopolitical tensions may be restricted to protect national security. This limitation is not a deliberate effort to hide information, but rather to prevent looting, trafficking, or destruction. Number five, limitations of technology. Some mysteries may remain unsolved due to technological limitations. For example, inaccessible or underwater sites may be challenging to explore with current technology, leading to a lack of comprehensive studies. As we've explored the common reasons behind claims of forbidden knowledge, it becomes clear that skepticism and critical thinking are necessary when encountering such assertions. Misinterpretation, misrepresentation, pseudoscientific claims, ethical concerns, national security and technological limitations all contribute to the complex landscape of archaeological and historical research. Remember, genuine academic research is founded on evidence, peer-reviewed publications and open discourse within the scholarly community. Valid information can be obtained through reliable sources, allowing us to separate fact from fiction. So, the next time you come across the sensationalized claim of archaeologists and historians were forbidden to study these, approach it with a critical mindset. Question the credibility of the source and seek verification from reputable experts and academic institutions. By doing so, we can continue to explore our rich history and uncover the truths that lie waiting to be discovered. In part two, we take a look at the various subjects that are familiar with these claims, topics that are often sensationalized with claims of secrecy or forbidden knowledge. Stay tuned and thanks for joining. Please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and hit that bell for more updated content. Also, your comments and feedback are always welcome. Signing off from Curio Nexus.